has scored consistently good marks in the areas of utility, all-around usefulness, fuel efficiency, comfort, quality, and value ever since it became the progenitor of the but an engaging driving experience isn't something we would necessarily add to the list of the diminutive Toyota's defining characteristics. UVRA V4 is now in its fourth generation, a makeover that eliminated one of the elements that gave the third generation a jolt of fun to drive, the optional 3.5 liter V6 with 269 horsepower and 246 pounds feet of torque. So equipped, AU making it the hottest thing in the class. But in 2013, the Gen 4 RAV's powertrain options were pared down to a 2.5-liter four-cylinder teamed with a six-speed automatic transmission. The choice of front or all-wheel drive remained. This adds up to tepid acceleration. In our first trip to the test track with AU it ran to 60 in 8.2 seconds, and the quarter mile came in 16. 5 at 85 miles per hour. That's at the slow end of the compact crossover scale. And for some reason this front drive test subject, although 118 pounds lighter than the AWD model, was slower by a half second to 60 and a couple tenths through the quarter. Chalk up the disparity to a green engine in the front driver with too few break-in miles. The RAV isn't powerful enough to gain an accelerative advantage from AWD. The six-speed automatic is smooth, and manual shifting, achieved by waggling the lever fore and aft, is helpful for two-lane passing, a maneuver that requires careful planning due to the modest propulsion. Although the RAV4S acceleration requires a patient driver, its dynamic deportment is generally responsive. True, the crossover's understeer progress is from significant to resolute, but its responses are prompt and utterly predictable within that limit. Body Motions